I'm 28. 28. Now, I, you know, we had um, Miracle Bear, you know, Urs. Is yeah, yeah. The, yeah the, the the classic guy, and I, I, we, we kind of it's kind of thrown the the idea of muscle maturity on its head with someone like that because, you know, as you get older, you think you get more detail and thickness and muscle maturity, but then there's a guy like this who's like what twenty three, and it kind of so I, I'm just wondering like is you know because you don't just seem to be a better conditioned now, but your muscle seems to have more density and detail. Like there was a side chest shot we just brought up on on the, in the hot news segment of you. And I zoomed in right in. I said, he's never had that before. You know, when like sure. it, it was really, he could really see the fine striations and the details. So what's your thoughts on things like muscle maturity? Yeah, it is true for me. Uh, the more times I get to such a low body fat, the more different kinds of striations will be visible. Uh, I see it in my quads, for example, the separation in all the quad muscles is more and more visible, those small striations. But for me, that's my kind of maturity. So m maturing in getting lean every time and going a bit deeper. Mm. But for someone like Urs, you know, sometimes it's also a little bit uh, genetically, uh, you know, given to someone to be to look more mature at an early age. But I have to say, his coach gets people in shape really well. And uh, for people who don't know yet, for Poland, I didn't have a coach. I did it myself. Oh wow! But yeah, I will actually have the same coach. As Urs, so his uh, Instagram handle is Boss of Outlaw, and his name is Stefan Kinzel. And, uh, you know, he's just someone who's very passionate about his athletes. For example, the one, uh, the Classic Physique Fabian, competitor Fabian, who won the Europa Pro in Spain. Maya. Uh, yeah. Was also coached by, by Stefan. So oh, wow. he coached Classic Physique guys who I really like the look of, and they get in very, very good condition, which is exactly what I need. So he's got th that guy, uh, Stefan, has got three guys going to Olympia. Yeah. Wow. Do you travel as a team or <laughs> okay to get to the Olympia this year? Everything okay with your visa and all that? Yeah. Um, the, the problem is, just like last time, everybody from Europe has to quarantine first for two weeks in a different country. So it's always a big investment in time and, of course, money to actually go to the Olympia. But for me, this is my passion, mm. my job. So I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice all of that. So I think this time, instead of Aruba, which I went to last time, I'm this time going to Mexico, very close to the border, and then stay there for 14 days and then move to uh, the USA. Wow, so when do you, when do you fly up? Uh, I think either September 19th or, or September 20th. It uh, kind of depends on the flight times because I want to be sure that I stay there for 14 days and not 13 and a half, and they can uh, actually uh, not let me in. So I just want to be sure that I stay there long enough. Yeah. So go, go after something just popped into my head, going back to your physique, I think when, when your quads are dry, because you were saying about glutes and hams, everything being more dug out and more detail in the arms and everything else. I think with with you, I can I can tell straight away, if I see your quads, I think when I saw the Portugal and it was a front lat spread, and as soon as I saw your quads were dry and separated, I said, that's it. He's going to be conditioned every single angle. Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. I th That's true.